From around the world, this is the Happy News from Moving On TV. God, do we need some happy news? So you're on Moving On TV. You've got loads of happy news as you can watch from years, years, years gone by. But today I'm going to read you a very, very happy story to make you think about this. A remarkable teen leads a peaceful Detroit protest. Gets called for mayor, I saw your leadership, I'm in tears. 16-year-old Stefan Perez began marching into downtown Detroit with 15 people. More and more joined him until he became an unwitting leader of a large crowd. Above all else, the Michigan team vowed to keep everyone in line and get them back home safely. At the end of the march, after no looting or fights, he urged the protesters to comply with the city's 8 p.m. curfew so that no one would get hurt. With a megaphone thrust into his hand, he kept the protesters calm, even though he said they were scared and some of them tried to defy his peaceful intentions. I tried to keep everyone together. I tried to keep everybody as a collective. I'm surprised people listened to me. I'm glad they did because they're not hurt right now, because they could be. While the reporter was interviewing the young activist, Mayor Mike Duggan called on someone's phone and the call was broadcast via speakerphone. Son, I was watching the video and I saw your leadership. I have tears in my eyes, said the mayor. You're everything that's special about the city of Detroit. We're going to fight this injustice because of people like you, but not with violence. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? There you go. And then Stefan said, some of the police officers walked with us in uniform. We stand united and I'm glad we all do. Isn't that wonderful? There's some happy news. What about the animals? The animals seem happy to me. The cats are lying there in the sun enjoying themselves. And guess what? So are the penguins. Shed Aquarium in Chicago was closed to visitors this week. But the penguins didn't mind one bit. Staff caught them on camera, waddling out of their usual habitat and exploring the rest of the exhibits just like a human. You see? Beautiful. If that's cheered you up, there are plenty of other animal stories on here. You can check out the Animal Roundup and I will tell you where. On the Huff Post. <laughs> A paddle of 14 fluffy ducklings followed their mum as they foraged for food along the Kennet and Avon Canal between Bradford and Avon and Bath. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? There you go. Some happy news. Come on board the happy news, guys. Let's share the happy stories. Ball in his mouth and soaking wet, Casper the Golden Retriever enjoyed a run in the park on a sunny spring day. There you go. Dogs still running around having fun. <laughs> the happy news. <laughs> Arnie brought his pony and donkey indoors to share an important self-isolation message. Arnie Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Cats have been bringing the self-isolation catitude as fur. How self-quarantine going for cats? They just sit there all day in the sun. Meow, fur. Per meow. <laughs> if you think this is infantile, then please share it to all your friends so we can all have a little infantile laugh and joke about this silly little happy news instead of sitting there glued to the box and watching all the depressing stuff that has been sent towards you every single day by the lamestream fake media. Watch Moving On TV, Happy is here, 
Happy, 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 happy news. Happy, happy, happy news. Thank you. Love you lots. Please share, like, and subscribe. Come on board the happy news and do your own. Bye.